Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to cook something tonight that uh, I tried out just about two weeks ago. I came in here in the kitchen wanting something to eat, but you know, didn't know what I wanted. And I thought I'd make some uh, homemade macaroni and cheese, you know, you guys seen me do it before. And I thought, well, wait a minute, I like uh, macaroni and tomatoes too. So I thought about making that, then it hit me, just like that. Why not combine them? Homemade macaroni and cheese with tomato and a little extra, where's that, added in at the end. So now, let's get started. I've got my water coming up to a boil right here. I've, I've had these uh, tomatoes back here up to a simmer for about 15 minutes so far. And uh, the secret is uh, the, the longer you cook those tomatoes, these are uh, Del Monte diced tomatoes to, tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano, no salt added. The longer you cook them, well, the longer you let them simmer, the sweeter they're going to get. So that's why I've had these guys going longer than anything else. Uh... Last week, or week before last, when I made this the first time, I used half a pound of macaroni, so I'm going to use the rest of it this time. So that's about eight ounces of macaroni. I'm going to make a lot because I want leftovers, you know, so uh, I can eat it tomorrow too. I've already got the water salted. Let's go ahead and dump those guys in there. Yeah, looks good. This is good, guys, no kidding bunch of use in it so let me get everything ready for this cheese sauce over here you guys see me make it a thousand times but I'm gonna make it again hang on okay now to the cheese sauce now even though I've made this a couple I don't know dozen times on camera I get I still get PMs and questions about it now all you do this is two tablespoons of butter that's all it is just get you a I don't measure it, just get you a big pinch pinch full of flour. I just throw it in there, just like that. And you're going to mix that butter and that flour up and uh, let that flour cook for just a little, little while, a few minutes. Get that flour taste out of it. You see what it turns into like a paste. See what I'm saying? Just like that. That's what you're looking for. Just whisk it around for a few minutes, a few seconds, whatever. Hell, I don't know. Hold your bag of flour up and just let it uh, cook. Back over here, got our macaroni going. Let's see, where's my, there it is, my big spoon. I think I turn it down too much. Let's turn it back up. It's not boiling. We need a macaroni to bowl, boil, bowl, what do you want to call it? Now, we got our, look at those tomatoes back there going, guys. Mm, mm, mm. We'll come back when that cheese sauce is ready to put some milk in it. All right, it's been a minute or two. Let's go ahead and add some milk. It's getting pretty pasty looking. Let's see if that's enough. Last time I made this, I ran out of milk and used beer, which was still, well, it was good. So now, what we're going to do is bring this back up to heat. Let's put it on about medium, about medium high. Mix it around. And all that butter and flour is going to mix in with that uh, milk. That's all you do. Now it's just a waiting game. So, uh, macaroni, tomatoes, mm mm mm. Be back in a second, guys. All right. Our cheese sauce, this is just still just milk, butter, and flour. See how thick it's getting? We might need to add a little bit more milk to it just in a few minutes, but first we're going to start adding our cheese. I just always use just regular, uh, American cheese, you know the sliced stuff that comes in the little plastic. Oops, sorry about that. 
We'll start off with three pieces. I usually put about five in, I believe, if I remember right. Yeah, that's thick. We're going to add some milk. Or beer, or even water would work. So uh, that's the gist of it for all you guys and gals wanting to know how it's done. It's pretty thick. I want to add a little bit more milk to it, guys, and uh, probably two more pieces of cheese. So hang on. All right, guys, uh, the macaroni is done. Tomatoes, done. Cheese sauce, done. Look how beautiful and thick. That's some awesome cheese sauce, guys. Try it out. You might like it. All right, I drained off the tomatoes. I drained the juice all out of them because I didn't want it real soupy. So let's add our tomatoes to the to the macaroni. Now, if you just like macaroni and tomatoes like I do right now, I got an escapee over there. These are great right now. I added some salt to the water when I boiled the macaroni, so I don't think we'd have to add it add any salt right now. But we're not finished, are we? No. We got our cheese sauce. Let's, let's get that guy in there. Here we go. Now this is just something I came up with last week or week before last. I can't remember. It may have been done before by millions of people, but I don't know. I've never seen it. But that don't mean it's not been done, right? There we go. Get off the edge. Get out a good mixing up. Macaroni, tomato, cheese. It's really good, guys. If you take, I don't know, a lot of us guys don't, but uh, the women who watch this, if you guys got potlucks at work, you know, and some guys do too, you know, Thanksgiving or Christmas or some kind of special occasion, you guys cook and, and uh, take it to work, this would be awesome. This would be a surprise to them besides just a regular macaroni you got macaroni tomatoes and bacon here we go this is the killer right here after I cooked this last week I thought man this is good but what could it use <laughs> and here we go bacon man this takes it over the top I'm not even kidding you can add as much or little as you want, but I tell you what, it just gives it that uh, gives it that little something different. Yeah, my stove's dirty because it gets used. I clean it every now and then. It'd be all right in the morning. So let's get let's let that time uh, let's give that time to cool down just a little, just a few minutes. I'll put some on a plate and then we're going to taste it. Oh, don't that look good? Bunch of yous. <laughs> be back in a second, guys. All right, it's been a, a few minutes, two or three anyway. Oh, you know what I forgot? I like pepper. Let's put a little pepper on that. Of course, it's optional. And you can add anything you want to this, but man, I tell you what, I made this, like I said, a few weeks ago, and uh, can't get much better. I see tomato, but oh, yeah, I see a piece of bacon. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta do one more, guys. Sorry. There it is. All I gotta say is try it. If you don't think it goes together, mm, I think you're wrong. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Try it. You might like it. Bye.